Well, thoughts from the rest of our guests who are still with us, uh, Steve Rogers, Bernard Zaper, and, and Ted Williams. Steve, I want to start with you because you were telling me during one of the breaks um, that events like this are very hard on police officers. They're very hard on police officers, and particularly, John, because they're going to go home tonight, and this is going to affect their relationships with their family members. I would encourage family members and those police officers and all of the first responders and people being affected across the country, pick up the phone, seek help, seek assistance, and by all means, if you're a clergy member, a priest, a, a minister, a rabbi of any faith, you know who's in your congregation, who those officers and others are. How about you pick up the phone and give them a call? Yeah, the Governor Abbott of, uh, of Texas urged us all to pray for El Paso and for his state. And I, I think those words are well taken. Um, Ted Williams, your final thoughts as we wrap up this evening. You know, we've talked about this manifesto and Steve Rogers has talked about perhaps it's going to give us a motive here. I, I don't know what it's going to show, but I, apparently it has to do with racism, bigotry and possibly political leanings. And I'm hoping that America will listen to what Governor Abbott said tonight. We are all Americans, and I'm hoping that not one or, other, or another party will use whatever this manifesto brings out to divide us. Uh, we need to do just what we are doing, stick together as Americans. Ted Williams, thank you. Bernard Zaper, who um, uh, was formerly a special agent with the Division of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms. Uh, you've had some interesting thoughts about uh, the makeup of, of the mind of this killer. Your final thoughts this evening, Bernard. The bottom line is we have the ability to stop this. We have the ability to solve this as a nation. We'll put our efforts in it together collectively and stop this trend to make a cultural shift, a societal shift away from violence and away from self-adoration that results in this ridiculous, horrible murder. Uh, God bless the first responders and all the victims of these ridiculous, senseless but, but, acts of hate. But they, they seem to be coming more and more frequently. I mean, I just mentioned, you know, three major shootings in Texas in the last three years. Um, you say we can stop them, and I want to believe that we can, but, but how? We need to look in the dark corners. There are things we need to face with the trend of our mental health in this country, where we're going as a culture, and there's a societal shift here that we need to pay attention to, very difficult to face, and that we don't get distracted by these apparent uh, motives, where there may be a deeper, darker motive that's psychologically based, that's being perpetuated with whatever our trends in society, whether it's social media or however we're going. But we need to examine that and put the brakes on this and trend towards another thing where the one does not justify the outweigh of the needs of all of us in society. That we approach this life with hope and peace and that we have the outcome that was really God's intent. Steve, um, where are the parents is, is something. I mean, this guy is 21 years old. He's an adult, but... But you have to wonder what the last few few years have been like and, and what the parents have been doing. You know, it was a question that was brought to me earlier about parents. And uh, I've got to tell you that parents need to be parents. Uh, a lot of parents want to be friends to their children. I'm certainly not blaming the parents in this case. But keep an eye on your children. See what they're watching. Seeing, uh, look around and see who they're associating with. And if they need help, if they do need some help, you've got guidance counselors in school, health departments in your community. Reach out because you know what? You may end up saving a big problem down the road. I want to thank each of our panelists who've been with us this evening. Bernard Zaper, uh, Steve Rogers, Ted Williams, as well as um, Dr. Ernest Patty, who was with us earlier from St. Barnabas Hospital. Uh, another terrible shooting rack.